How's it going, peeps? Kiwi Lisa here. Been on a little bit of a trip to Ely Beach. Uh, I have just returned from a day trip, which I'll get back to. It's my final day here. Tomorrow, I fly back out to Brizzy. So I'm just gonna do a bit of a recap on everything I've done, and I will share the relevant links in, uh, down below, so check that out. So I am staying at the Pinnacles Resort. So it's a two bedroom unit. It's got a beautiful balcony. I'm actually filming this from the little lounge room here. Um, got a beautiful spa out on the deck. The facilities are good. It's got a beautiful infinity pool. The only downside is it's got a huge ass driveway. So basically, uh, it's a bit of a hike to get back to the uh, hotel. So if you're going to stay here, expect that you might want to pay for a cab from down in the town, city, wherever it is, back to the unit. It costs about seven bucks a pop, but the facilities here are pretty spot on. Love the place. Um, so on day one, we didn't have any plans. Um, we went down just to the little local area, thought what can we do? We we're looking at trying to book segways, but we couldn't find them. So instead we found tricycle hire. So that was with Whit Sunday Fun, and that was $40 for three hours. Um, electric, uh, electric scooters, and we went all the way down the boardwalk, all the way down to Cannonvale, I think, and return. That was so much fun. So if you are here and you're looking to get around without walking, I would definitely suggest that you hire one of those electric scooters. You can also hire them all day for 70 bucks, so keep that in mind as well. So that's pretty much all we did for the first day. Obviously, we went out and had dinner at a couple of spots, um, we went down to Ely Beach Hotel. It's quite um, a lot of people there, um, quite busy. Um, grab a few drinks, but the atmosphere was pretty okay. Um, the next day, I'd already pre-booked this tour. It was um, with GSL Aviation. So I'd booked a reef and ocean cruise. It was a package. I think it was about $3.69 on special. So it was two tours in one. So in the, the morning, it started pretty early, we were taken out to the little airport and we did a 60 minute scenic flight over the Sunday Island. So it basically takes you out over the um, Whitehaven Beach, over the Heart Reef, and wow, that was pretty spectacular. The plane, we, there was only four of us in the plane. Uh, I got shotgun, so if you are planning on doing that, just do shotgun. I got in quick, so I got the front seat next to the pilot. Um, views were awesome, so that was absolutely beautiful. I'm always up for anything where you get a view. Um, the second part of the tour, which I think that was starting about 10 o'clock, um, that was the cruise, and yeah, that was bloody awesome. Um, you first of all we went straight out to snorkeling they uh, give you the stinger suits and you are way not rushed for time at all you can wear a life jacket if you want they give you little noodles yeah I took a little noodle but because I had someone with me um, I wanted to dive under the water so my mate she was uh, holding me noodle while I was able to dive under so yeah we went out to a little reef you could dive down, lots of coral, lots of fish. We even spotted a turtle, so that was bloody awesome. So after we finished snorkeling, we had some lunch on the boat that was beautiful. Um, and then we went to Whitehaven Beach for a bit of a swim. So when you're there, you're, you get about an hour and a half. It's not much time, but the, the sand is really, really silky. There is a little bit of a lookout up the top. We did decide to do that. But I think that maybe it's probably not necessary to do that particular one because um, you will actually get to do another lookout, which is way better. So an hour and a half at the beach, you get to see the beach, you get to have a bit of a swim if you want, you have to wear your stinger suit still, and also you have to, you can do paddle boarding. What is it, the 
stand up paddle boarding gave that a bit of a crack but yeah i'm not really any good um but that was awesome and then it takes you to the white haven outlook lookout there's a lookout point there's three little lookouts it's a little bit of a hike up there um but basically that is the most awesomest view ever obviously we'd seen it in the sky and then when you're down there seeing it at a different level that is a good way to see it as well so if you didn't want to do the two and one you can book the cruise separately but we paid for the combo which was the two and one so you do get that a little bit cheaper so i rate gsl marine gsl aviation a 10 out of 10 because that tour was absolutely freaking fantastic um so the next so that was it for the day it was a long day it was like six o'clock in the morning till like six o'clock at night so that was pretty full on they actually do give you snacks as well on the boat so snacks morning tea and afternoon tea which is fruit and stuff some cakes in the morning um you do have to buy your drinks but that's okay it was bloody awesome that tour so the next day what did we do on the next day we didn't actually have anything planned but because we had already done um, a tour with GSL, we booked in for a jet ski. And we got it cheap. It was $79 because we were a return customer. So we booked that in. It's a one hour jet ski. And I think one hour is pretty sufficient. We kind of had our own private tour because there was only the four of us. On that particular day, it was a little bit rainy. But wow, well, I've never been on jet ski, a jet ski and I would totally, highly recommend doing jet skiing if you ever do jet skiing. It's freaking fantastic. Bit of a hoonster at the front, get to follow the man, do a bit of a zigzag. But yeah, jet skiing, heaps of fun, very safe. You're not gonna, well, I, none of our crew fell off and there's, we had only done it, well I'd never done it before, and only one of our group, she had done it twice. But she wasn't comfortable, or not confident, but she still thought it was amazing. So yeah, I definitely would um, rate uh, GSL Aviation and GSL Marine, because they uh, were top notch with those particular tours. So if you're here and you're looking at doing any sort of um, sea or aviation, GSL is the way to go. So the next day, so we didn't actually have anything else booked. So after the jet skiing, we thought, well, what can we do for the last day? So we went down to the main city, main, main centre. We were looking for um, a day tour. We heard that Cedar Creek Falls was probably okay, um, but not 100% sure. We didn't want to probably do the beach again. Too much beach, I'm not really a beachy person. But we've seen a tour which says Hideaway Bay. And we knew it was going to go to Cedar Creek Falls. And we also knew that it was going to go to Coffee Plantation and Hideaway Bay. So maybe I was a little bit disappointed with that particular tour. Um, I will leave the details in the link below because we booked it through an agent but it was through a particular company. It was called the, um, yeah, Hideaway Bay Tour. So the tour itself, you're always limited on those sort of tours. So the first stop was Cedar Creek Falls. We had 30 minutes to check out the waterfalls. 30 minutes is not a lot of time. So it kind of felt a little bit rushed. There was like 23 people on the tour. So 30 minutes at Cedar Creek creek for if that's really what you're doing the tour for don't do that tour the guide charlie he was a bit of a character he had a lot of stories to tell a little bit funny as well so he was certainly a very good guide the next stop was the coffee plantation uh, we got to stop there for 30 minutes uh, just really barely enough time to order coffee and have your cake or a little bit of a breakfast if you're wanting to do that um, it was a full day tour so we got picked up at eight o'clock in the morning that, that was actually today actually um, and then after the coffee plantation we went for a drive through hideaway bay i don't know if it actually stopped at hideaway bay you're on the bus for quite a long time you don't really get to see much 
and then we stopped at Dingo's Beach. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed with Dingo's Beach. We couldn't actually get in the water because of the stingers. You couldn't even put your foot in the water because, you know, stingers can obviously be fatal and you can end up in hospital. So, not saying that don't do that tour. Oh, so when we were at Dingo's Beach, we actually did have um, lunch there. So you obviously have to pay that. The tour itself was 50% off. So it was normally $110, but it was uh, half price, $55. I don't think I would want to pay any more than that because the tour, for me personally, was a little bit disappointing because I really wanted to do the tour for Cedar Creek Falls and you only get 30 minutes. Um, so after that, we were just dropped back to the hotel. Um, we got back to the hotel about three o'clock. It's now 4.30. Um, pretty much we're gonna chill for the rest of the afternoon and check out the infinity pool at our hotel. And well, actually last night, if you want a really good place to go for dinner, Casey's Bar. The food is great, live music and entertainment, and it's a pretty good vibe. So overall, the uh, trip was pretty good. I'm heading back to Brizzy tomorrow. Pretty knackered, but uh, when you come early, if you're interested in doing any of these tours that I've just mentioned, I'll put it in the link below. So uh, that's it for Ely Beach. <laughs> you're gonna be in my vlog now. Okay, so it's the next morning. I just wanted to finish off this vlog. I'm still at the Pinnacles, about to check out. But what I wanted to say is, um, if you like this vlog, uh, check out my videos that will be coming up because I'll do full vlogs and show you the whole experience. Um, give it a like and a thumbs up and maybe uh, hit subscribe for more videos to come. But I'm here and at the Pinnacles there's a beautiful spa and sometimes you get visitors and check out this awesome view from uh, room number 27. So we get the visitors here at the Pinnacles. So, say hello, 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 hello. Oops, and here's another one coming. Oh, perfect timing. So there you go.